call the diversity continuum. Yeah. And that though there's a various graphs that are out there provided by a variety of companies and organizations, but you can usually find yourself where you are in your organization is in the diversity continuum. But the other piece from an awareness perspective is look at yourselves. Uh, you know, CIPR did their awareness. They did their data and found out in the UK that uh, 92% of uh, PR practitioners are white. And that's not necessarily uh, indicative of what's available in the community and where those organizations work. It, it, it becomes more white as you go higher in, higher up. We had a, a similar study done in Canada recently with a number of communication and marketing organizations. Same is true. So when you're looking around the table, are you aware of who's helping you make the decisions? Are you hiring for diversity? Are you including diverse perspectives in order to inform your strategy as well? Yeah. So the fourth, the third A is action. So once you've got that data and you've identified what you, you where you are, now action is about where do you want to go. So setting those goals, creating a plan. Um, when I'm working with organizations here in Canada um, and in North America, the first thing I ask is, what's the operational plan? What do you want to improve? What are your numbers? What are you heading towards? Um, and then I can help you with a communication plan to support that action plan. And, and what I'm really excited about with the organizations I'm working, uh, working with is those action plans are really looking at the employee experience and are looking at the employee life cycle. So what do we do from a recruiting perspective that we, where are we, where do we wanna go from a recruiting perspective? Where are we and where do we wanna go from an orientation and talent management and performance management perspective? What do we do from a recognition perspective and celebration, who do we celebrate? So it's really looking at that employee life cycle and then they're looking at retention rates because I guarantee you that what we're going to be looking at in the few years when it comes to DEI is a lot of companies check the box but didn't manage to keep, create the atmosphere and the environment to keep people there. 